Good morning. This is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Authorities are on a manhunt looking for a 33-year-old Sioux Falls man wanted for rape and sexual contact with a child. Caleb Moran faces numerous charges for allegedly raping a young girl over a four-year period. According to court papers, Moran lived with the victim at the time. The young girl, who is now 15, finally reported to police what had been happening to her since she was five. If you'd like to read the court papers for yourself, we've posted them under this story on Kelloland.com. It's alarming news for anyone who knows a teenager involved in team sports. The Pennington County State's Attorney's Office has shared details of rape charges against six suspects who were members of the Mitchell Varsity Legion baseball team at the time of the alleged crimes. Two suspects are 18-year-old, one is 19 years old, and three are 17 years old. Pennington County State's Attorney Laura Retzel spoke with Kelloland News about what could come next. I do believe there are other victims of similar conduct, and I am really hopeful that the time is now for anyone that has had this happen to them or has been involved in um, this activity in association with the Mitchell Legion baseball team can come forward now. It, this needs to be brought into the light so it can all be dealt with at once so that everyone can start to move forward and heal. Kelloland News reached out to Mitchell Baseball Association President Jason Christensen, but have not heard back from him after leaving a voicemail. The search for a teenager wanted in connection with the shooting of a six-year-old boy in Rapid City over two months ago has come to an end. Authorities say 17-year-old Lyle Blue Legs was found by tribal law enforcement on the Pine Ridge Reservation on Thursday. Blue Legs was identified as a suspect in a shooting on May 26th. It happened in the 100 block of East Signal Drive. The boy suffered a serious non-life-threatening injury and was taken to the hospital. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt starting the weekend on a hot note, Scott. Temperatures in the 80s and 90s today, that will cover much of Kettle Land. Uh, well, I shouldn't say much because western South Dakota will be cooler. We'll go with 80s and 90s in eastern, southeastern South Dakota. 70s in western Kettle Land. The cloud cover, pretty good chance to see the rain in and around Rapid City. That rain will try to move into eastern Kettle Land for this weekend, and it will turn much cooler for everybody by Sunday. More details on your forecast with Brian coming up. Thank you, Scott. A Sioux Falls victim of a vehicle theft says this week's arrest of suspect Matthew Hill comes as little relief to her. Mallory Gross had her Subaru Outback stolen from her driveway in June. Police later recovered the vehicle and it was clear the Outback wasn't the only vehicle targeted. I didn't have much in my car, but my belongings were found in another stolen car. So when they found that car, they said, oh yeah, we found your work badge and your family photos. So they knew who I was too, so. Gross is driving a loaner while she arranges for a trade-in for another Subaru to replace her stolen car, which had damage to the interior. Earlier this week, bikers were seen riding into Sturgis for the 83rd motorcycle rally. The rally kicks off officially later today and offers interesting vendors at every corner. We caught up with one who builds motorcycles with V8 engines and is now celebrating their 20th year. V8 choppers, we started about 20 years ago. This is our anniversary. And we build a chopper bike and a trike with a V8 car motor in the engine bay. The 83rd Sturgis Motorcycle Rally kicks off with their opening ceremonies taking place Friday. The popular band Hairball returns to the Sioux Empire Fair for the 12th time in 13 years on Sunday. The band plays hits from the 1980s arena and hair bands. Members dress, play, and sing as those 80s bands. Member Dave Moody says Hairball takes the music and the concerts seriously. They strive to be as authentic as possible as they entertain the audience. Out. We want you to have a good time. We want you to lose yourself for two hours. We want you to suspend disbelief. We want you to get in front of us, raise your beers up, sing the songs, to the, sing the choruses to the best songs ever written, slap your buddy on the back, spill beer on each other, have a good time. The Sioux Empire Fair starts Friday and runs through August 12th. To hear from Moody and fair officials, check out a Kelloland.com original story by Ray Yost. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian?
All right, our weather outlook as we head toward the weekend. Well, we're going to start today and the next 24 hours with locally heavy rain. The highest threat probability is in far northwest South Dakota. That's where I would say the center of this is radiating out from. But certainly the risk of some locally heavy downpours will exist into central South Dakota. Eventually, we'll tie into northeast South Dakota. Looks like the best rain you've had in over a month for parts of the northeast coming. Now for Saturday, while we've got the rain in the northeast, we also also have the severe weather chance that's highest in the southeast. That's where it's going to be warmest in the afternoon. That also might mean that the storms are a little more scattered in nature, uh, but we do expect some good downpours where we get the storms. And that, of course, is going to be the big thing to watch here. Now, today, you clearly see most of that rain is circulating into the northwest. Uh, we're going to see flare ups over the next few hours. I would not be too shocked at all to hear about several inches of rain in that North Dakota, South Dakota border region west of Mobridge easily could pick up some pretty big rains. Now, the forecast tonight flares up around Pier, Chamberlain, Winter. Yes, we can pick up some nice rains here. Uh, don't expect all that to hold together, but some of it will try to get to Mitchell and Sioux Falls tomorrow morning. That represents one window in the southeast where we can get some rain. If you miss out on that, then I would kind of wait for the afternoon and see if we develop a, a broken line of storms, probably there from here on to Mitchell and then moving east. And again, any of that could become severe. So there'll be a plenty of items to keep us busy. The hope is more folks get rain that could use it. That's the bottom line here. 90 Sioux Falls today. That's because of the drought induced dry soils. We tend to get to 90 a lot faster and easier. Even 86 tomorrow in Sioux Falls. We're pegging that rain chance pretty good. But again, the locally heaviest rainfall, that variable will still be out there as uh, we hone in on individual storm cells. There is kind of a wraparound rain shower opportunity Saturday night, early Sunday morning. We've carried that over for Aberdeen. And remember too, this system's a little different because it has wind with it. There's actually a pretty strong northwest wind in Rapid City coming up for tomorrow. And I think Aberdeen will get that Sunday morning. Even Sioux Falls will pick up that wind. Uh, so it's a dynamic system. It's got some ingredients going for it. It's just a matter of, again, how widespread that rain goes. But it's a good chance at Pier and Rapid. We're going to run at least 80 to 90 percent chances of rain. And yes, it will be locally heavy in the Black Hills. So stay weather aware. Check out details. A lot more of that online at Kebbelland.com.